I'm delighted to be joined uh, by yourself, uh, Lewis, uh, on one of your on the, on your first day. Sorry, as a signed Wraith Rovers player. Um, what have you made of your first few days at, at Rovers so far? No, it's been good. The transition um, from going part time to full time, it's been tough. Obviously, doing double sessions, um, but the boys have been great and the gaffer's been brilliant with me. So um, it's been an easy transition so far. Yeah. And then. You've mentioned that you come from part-time football into full-time football. Um, tell us about how did the deal come about? Um, how did you find yourself at Wraith Rovers? Who approached you? Um, the gaffer obviously phoned um, Shoot Petrie and um, Shoot Petrie phoned me right away. And um, obviously, I had the clause in my contract to go full-time, and he says I wouldn't stand on your way. Um, so go speak to him and see what you think. Um, so I spoke to the gaffer, and one thing led to another, and um, I bring back my own for myself here. And, and how many days did you train with us before actually signing? Um, I came in last Monday oh, yeah. and um, I've been in every day since um, with the team. And, 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 and when the opportunity to, to speak to Wraith Rovers came up, what was the first thing that, what, what attracted you to the club? Um, obviously I know Wraith Rovers playing against them a lot through the years. It's um, a massive club and being full time so, um, was a big thing for me. Um, and obviously to see they're going for promotion this season. Um, I just obviously winning the league last year. There's no better feeling, and to do it again, it would be an amazing uh, achievement. And um, you you've you've mentioned that you know a fair bit about Wraith Rovers. Um, you're a local boy um, from from Merseyth, um, and you know a fair few people that have played for the Rovers. Tell us about some of your Wraith Rovers connections. Uh, well. One of my best friends is obviously Greg Spence. He's had a couple of spells here. And um, I found myself over in Australia playing for three months, and that was through um, Gordon Smith. And uh, over there where Gordon was um, Kevin Moon at the time. So um, I got quite uh, friendly with Kevin as well. Good, good. Um, so, yeah, so, so you knew what you were coming into. Um, um, and, do, and of the current squad, do you know any of them well yet? Um, I know, yeah, I've obviously made um, good connections with people already. Um, it helped, I was in maybe the four or five weeks before Christmas there, um, training. Um, so I wasn't coming into so much as a new environment. I knew a lot of the boys already, playing against them, training with them, so it was easy. And, um, and, and looking at um, your aspirations, not, not, not so much your career aspirations, but your aspirations for Wraith Rovers, particularly in that f the first quarter of games when the, when the campaign kicks off. What are you looking to achieve personally and as a team? Um, as a team, obviously, we go out to win every game. Um, so hopefully we can go out and achieve that. Um, I don't see why not. We can't win the majority of our games this season. Um, so we'll be looking to go out and win every game. Hopefully we do that um, for myself. I just want to play as many games as I can as, uh, as possible and um, if I can add goals to that and assists, um, that would be brilliant. And, and looking at your uh, your strengths as a player, very obviously you started off Cowdenbeath as a full-timer uh, and then there was time at Forfar, Montrose and at Spell in Australia. Um, wh what do you think you can bring personally to the Rovers apart, uh, as well as goals? Uh, at 24 I feel like. I've got a lot of experience. I broke through at Kevin Beef at a young age and played a lot of games. Um, obviously, I've played in a different culture as well, being in Australia, um, so that could maybe help. Um, I just feel um, now I can, my experience is probably the main thing, and um, hopefully I can help that with goals. Yeah. And before we, before we started the cameras rolling there, we were talking about some of the goals you've scored against Ray Throvers. Uh, off the top of my head, I could remember the one where you flicked it over your head and you, you mentioned a few others. Um, talk us through some of those goals you've scored against Rovers. <laughs> just, just to rub it in. <laughs> just to rub it in. No, um, obviously my best one was probably Starks um, part, the one you're talking about. Um, we broke on the counter, we had to win that game or we found ourselves in the playoffs. Um, obviously it went down to the next week as well, uh, which never went to plan. Um, but we broke on the counter and it was a quick throw in and um, the centre half threw it into me and um, I've just looked in the corner of my eye and seen, I think it was Reece Donaldson at the time diving in and uh, I've managed to flick it over his head and hit it on the half volley in my left foot and thankfully it went in. It was my birthday as well so oh, it helped. Yeah. Um, last year, um, 
sorry, the season before that I was at Forfa and we played Rafe Overs in a cup game at um, Station Park. We found ourselves one nil down. Um, I managed to pick the ball up about the halfway line and from 35 yards I just thought, why not? And uh, Frankfurt went in and that was probably the closest to it. And it goes without saying that um, the Rovers support remember both those goals and they're looking forward to, do, to you scoring from any distance yeah. uh, <laughs> coming up. Um, one of our final questions, um, obviously um, at, at Starks Park at the moment we're in the process of installing a new uh, artificial surface, AstroTurf. Um, how are you looking forward to playing on that, that quality AstroTurf and I understand you've played on it a few times before? Yeah, the last two seasons at Forfar and Montrose, um, obviously they're both artificial surfaces and uh, I feel it's good for the game. Um, a lot of the time at lower level, um, over the winter especially, you find games getting cold off. Um, so to have a surface like that, um, game you won't be playing as many midweek games and um, obviously you can play slicker football on it as well. So no, I look forward to it. Good. Well, we look forward to seeing you in action in a rover shirt very soon, uh, Lewis. But in the meantime, thanks for talking to us and good luck. Thanks very much. Cheers, guys.